this is Logan Murphy and today we will be validating using JavaScript. So what we will start out doing is writing functions that will validate email and this will take e as an argument and e equals e dot target dot value. Now basically these functions are going to be events and e is the event that has a target property. The target property is actually the input associated with the event and an input has a value attribute as you know uh, so you can see down here value equals so we have a value attribute for each input um, so we're just going to get that value attribute and overwrite e with that and we'll get the birthday and we're going to base our javascript on our jsp up here so the easiest thing to do will just be to bring that down here in a comment and we'll deal with it line by line. So for error equals empty string, we'll start out the same way. Uh, if error, well actually if e dot length is zero, then the error will be that. Else if we'll see e dot length is greater than 32, well then we will have this error and else if so this is a regex so we have to make a should make a regex object um, email regex just paste that and we need to have the regex symbols and get rid of this anywhere we see double slash it's wrong okay so that looks right now and something that I missed when I was originally writing these is that I want this to start with and end with this exact sequence otherwise it'll allow spaces to happen so let's rewrite this to take that and that and we'll come down to here and we'll rewrite this to take that and close dollar sign. So we have those. Come back down to here. We have this else if um, where we just take the email regex, uh, put that in the wrong spot, dot test e, and if it fails the test, then the error will be invalid email. And that will be everything we really have to do to validate. So we're just, just like the other function, we're just trying to find an error. And we will, we have our preset error section. It's right here. And for convenience sake, I will just call this email underscore error because I've called something that before. So just for memorization, I'll do that. .html. It's the error. So the, the error uh, field for the email will absorb the error that we found with this validation function. Okay, so we did that. Now we have to come back up here. We don't really need to do that since we know that this is basically going to be the same thing up to this point. So we'll just copy, paste it, put it here. This will be basically the same as well. The only thing that really changes is this goes to 24. And this will be password now, error, and we need to give us an ID, obviously. So here's the password error field, put it here. So we validated the, e the password and the email. Everything seems to be looking good. So now we have to validate the birthday, and that's right here. I'm gonna copy that, oops, copy it down to here, put it in a comment first, so var error equals empty string, so assume there's no error, and we'll absorb this initial logic, where if it's empty string, it'll be, this field is required, error, okay, so next we'll see else if 
So we need this regex here. Getting to end. And we'll declare it along with this. And we need to say that it's regex. And we need to get rid of that. We need to escape this, get rid of that. Escape this, get rid of that. And that looks like our regex. So we probably just have to save this. Um, okay. So the error here is saying that I expected a semicolon, so let's do that and do a var. Oh, obviously, because I didn't give that a name. So I just want to save a couple of bytes. So I'll put the name there. Um, so we have our birthday regex, and we'll dot test E, and if it fails that test, then we have um, invalid date format. Okay, so we dealt everything up to here. So now we have to have an else, and we would make of our date equals new date, and give E so that it'll parse it, and we'll also tag along with that a d equals date dot get date um, m equals date dot get month and uh, y equals date dot get full year okay and we will see if d is less than 10 if it is, we need to, it's basically only one digit, so we need to make it two digits, so D will be zero plus D. And we will also have to do the same thing for the month, just in case that's a single digit. So D will become M, M, and M. Then we will say that date equals day plus slash month plus s slash plus year okay and then we will see if d date is not equal to e or uh, date actually we should store instead of this we'll do d and we'll see if date is greater than new date so we're gonna see if the date found is later than the date today then we will have an invalid date okay so get rid of all this we dealt with all that and we will dollar select by ID birth day error HTML will be the error. Take that down to here, give us an ID, save it, format it. Okay, it seems to be all formatted properly. So, got rid of that waste space there. Everything seems to look good. We'll put that semicolon there. Okay, so we're coming up here, and we're going to dollar select by the name attribute where it equals uh, email dot focus out so we're just gonna attach these events now so validate email and dot uh, key up we just wanna be able to listen fairly well to these things so password this will be birthday, and this will be password, password, birthday, birthday. Okay, so we attach the events, we validate with these functions. Um, I'll do a little bit of testing in the next video we'll clean our code up and just make things uh, reusable. I'm Logan Murphy, I'll see you next time.